Christian Charles Philip Bale is an English actor, known for his versatility and physical transformations for his roles. He has been a leading man in films of several genres. He has received various accolades, including an Academy Award and two Golden Globe Awards. Wikipedia. Born January the 30th, 1974, age 50 years, Haverford West, United Kingdom. Spouse, CBBL at IM. 2000. Height, 1.83 M. Children, Emmeline Bale. Upcoming movie, The Bride. Parents, David Bale, Jenny James. Christian Charles Philip Bale was born in Pembrokeshire. Wales, UK on January 30, 1974, to English parents Jennifer Jenny, James, and David Bale. His mother was a circus performer and his father, who was born in South Africa, was a commercial pilot. The family lived in different countries throughout Bale's childhood, including England, Portugal, and the United States. Bale acknowledges the constant change was one of the influences on his career choice. His first acting job was a serial commercial in 1983. Amazingly, the next year, he debuted on the West End stage in The Nerd, a role in the 1986 NBC miniseries Anastasia, The Mystery of Anna, 1986, caught Steven Spielberg's eye, leading to Bale's well-documented role in Empire of the Sun, 1987. For the range of emotions he displayed as the star of the war epic, he earned a special award by the National Board of Review for Best Performance by a Juvenile Actor. Adjusting to fame and his difficulties with attention, he thought about quitting acting early on. Bale appeared in Kenneth Branagh's 1989 adaptation of Shakespeare's Henry V, 1989, and starred as Jim Hawkins in a TV movie version of Treasure Island, 1990. Bale worked consistently through the 1990s, acting and singing in Newsies. 1992, Swing Kids, 1993, Little Women, 1994, The Portrait of a Lady, 1996, The Secret Agent, 1996, Metroland, 1997, Velvet Goldmine, 1998, All the Little Animals, 1998, and A Midsummer Night's Dream, 1999. Toward the end of the decade, with the rise of the internet, Bale found himself becoming one of the most popular online celebrities around, though he, with a couple of notable exceptions, maintained a private, tabloid-free mystique. Physicality is a trait for which Bale becomes a specialist. Bale roared into the next decade with a lead role in American Psycho, 2000, director Mary Heron's adaptation of the controversial Bret Easton Ellis novel. In the film, Bale played a murderous Wall Street executive obsessed with his own physicality, a trait for which Bale would become a specialist. Subsequently, the 10th anniversary issue for Entertainment Weekly crowned Bale one of the top eight most powerful cult figures of the past decade, citing his cult status on the internet. EW also called Bale one of the most creative people in entertainment, and Premier lauded him as one of the hottest leading men under 30. Bale was truly on the Hollywood radar at this time, and he turned in a range of performances in the remake Shaft, 2000, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, 2001, The Balmy Laurel Canyon, 2002, and Reign of Fire, 2002, a Dragon's End magic commercial misfire that has its share of defenders. Two more cult films followed, Equilibrium, 2002, and The Machinist, 2004, the latter of which gained attention mainly due to Bale's physical transformation, he dropped a reported 60-plus pounds for the role of a lathe operator with a secret that causes him to suffer from insomnia for over a year. Bale's abilities to transform his body and to disappear into a character influenced the decision to cast him in Batman Begins, 2005, the first chapter in Christopher Nolan's definitive trilogy that proved a dark-themed narrative could resonate with audiences worldwide. The film also resurrected a character that had been shelved by Warner Brothers after a series of demising returns, capped off by the commercial and critical failure of Batman and Robin, 1997. A quiet, personal victory for Bale. He accepted the role after the passing of his father in late 2003, an event that caused him to question whether he would continue performing. Bale segued into two indie features in the wake of Batman's phenomenal success, The New World, 2005, and Harsh Times, 2005. He continued working with respected independent directors in 2000 SIXS Rescue Dawn, 2006, Werner Herzog's feature version of his earlier, 
Emmy-nominated documentary, Little Dieter Needs to Fly, 1997. Leading up to the second Batman film, Bale starred in The Prestige, 2006, the remake of 310 to Yuma, 2007, and a reunion with director Todd Haynes in the experimental Bob Dylan biography, I'm Not There, 2007. Anticipation for The Dark Knight, 2008, was spun into unexpected heights with the tragic passing of Heath Ledger, whose performance as the Joker became the highlight of the sequel. Bale's graceful statements to the press reminded us of the days of the refined Hollywood star as the second installment exceeded the box office performance of its predecessor. Bale's next role was the eyebrow-raising decision to take over the role of John Connor in the Schwarzenegger-less Terminator Salvation, 2009 followed by a turn as federal agent Melvin Purvis in Michael Mann's Public Enemies, 2009. Both films were hits, but not the blockbusters they were expected to be. For all his acclaim and box office triumphs, Bale would earn his first Oscar in 2011 in the wake of The Fighter, 2010, as critical and commercial success. Bale earned the Best Supporting Actor Award for his portrayal of Dickie Eklund, brother to and trainer of boxer Irish Mickey Ward, played by Mark Wahlberg. Bale again showed his ability to reshape his body with another gaunt, skeletal transformation. Bale then turned to another auteur, Amo Zhang, for the epic The Flowers of War, 2011, in which Bale portrayed a priest trapped in the midst of the rape of Nanking. Bale earned headlines for his attempt to visit with Chinese civil rights activist Chen Guangqing, which was blocked by the Chinese government. Bale capped his role as Bruce Wayne slash Batman in The Dark Knight Rises, 2012. In the wake of the Aurora, Colorado tragedy, Bale made a quiet pilgrimage to the state to visit with survivors of the attack that left theatergoers dead and injured. He also starred in the thriller Out of the Furnace, 2013, with Crazy Heart, 2009, writer, director Scott Cooper, and the drama comedy American Hustle, 2013, reuniting with David O. Russell. Bale will re-team with The New World, 2005, director Terence Malick for two upcoming projects, Night of Cups, 2015, and an as-yet-untitled drama. In his personal life, he devotes time to charities including Greenpeace and the World Wildlife Foundation. He lives with his wife, Sibby Blazik, and their two children. Family Spouse Sibby Blazik, January 29, 2000, present, two children. Children Joseph Bale Emmeline Luca Bale Parents Jennifer Jenny Bale, James David Bale Gloria Steinem Relatives Aaron Bale, sibling Sharon Bale, sibling Louise Bale, sibling Trademarks Often portrays obsessive and detached or loner characters. Frequently works with directors Christopher Nolan, Terrence Malick, David O. Russell, and Scott Cooper. Often stars in period films or plays historical figures. Chameleon-like changes of appearance for different roles. Fluent American accent. Intense physical and mental commitment to his roles. Remains in character almost constantly during the filming process even going so far as to conduct interviews using whatever accent he is using for that particular film often gains or loses weight for particular roles such as gaining muscle for the role of Batman slash Bruce Wayne in the Dark Knight trilogy, Batman Begins, 2005, The Dark Knight, 2008, and The Dark Knight Rises, 2012, Losing Weight for the Machinist, 2004, and The Fighter, 2010, as well as Gaining Fat for American Hustle, 2013, and Vice, 2018. Mole in the Corner of His Outer Right Eye Trivia. If he plays an American character, he will use an American accent in all the interviews related to the film. He says he does this so the audience is not confused. Holds the records for the most weight lost, 63 pounds for The Machinist, 2004, and gained, 80 pounds for Batman Begins, 2005, for film roles. Met his wife through Winona Ryder, she was Ryder's personal assistant. He replaced Leonardo DiCaprio for the film American Psycho, 2000. Met Drew Barrymore on the set of Empire of the Sun, 1987, who was visiting her godfather, Steven Spielberg. He was 13 and she was 12.
Bale later revealed that during filming, they went out on only one date, in which they saw some bloody awful horror film, and she never called again. Quotes. Interview in Spin Magazine, March 1996, an actor should never be larger than the film he's in. On dealing with the resulting media attention of Empire of the Sun, 1987, at age 13, it was horrific. I was almost crying in interviews and running away during press conferences, pretending I was going to the bathroom and just disappearing. On the sudden fame that resulted after Empire of the Sun, 1987, I enjoyed making the film, but I was shocked when I received all the attention when I got home to Bournemouth. Girls were all over me, boys wanted to fight me, and I was being asked to open local fates when all I wanted to do was ride my BMX bike in the woods. I told my parents I wasn't interested in doing anything again, because the attention ruined it. I don't want to know about the lives of other actors, and I don't want people to know too much about me. If we don't know about the private lives of other actors, that leaves us as clean slates when it comes to playing characters. That's the point, they can create these other characters, and I can believe them. I think if you're a good enough actor, that's the way to longevity in the film business. Keep everybody guessing. I started my career without fans. On his 63-pound weight loss for The Machinist, 2004, I had a stupid kind of feeling of invincibility, like, I can do it, I can manage it. I really did feel like I hit this point of enlightenment. I always like that. Whenever there's a project where everyone's going, ooh it's a bit dodgy, I always like it. If you actually look at it, there tends not to be anything risky at all. Why did I start acting in the first place? I didn't do it to be mediocre or to please everybody all the time. Salaries Amsterdam, 2022, $10 million Thor, Love and Thunder, 2022, $10 million American Hustle, 2013, $2,500,000, plus 9% gross point The Dark Knight Rises, 2012, $15 million Terminator Salvation, 2009, $8 million, plus percent gross. The Dark Knight, 2008, $10 million, plus $20,000, bonus. Batman Begins, 2005, $9 million. The Machinist, 2004, $250,000. American Psycho, 2000, $1 million. Thank <laughs> you.